Iron metallurgy in Africa has been, and still remains today, a very controversial topic. While it is known with certainty that mining, smelting, and forging of iron on the African continent is an ancient practice, the specific origins, dates, and in some cases, methods of production remain a topic of serious scholarly debate. With some archaeologists claiming that iron was diffused into Africa from Eurasia, primarily through trade with Carthage and the Nile Valley, while others lean more towards an indigenous sub-Saharan African innovation. Since there are sites deep within sub-Saharan Africa with dates just as ancient as those of Carthage and the Nile, this debate persists to present day, and more archaeology and research is needed in order to draw any firm conclusions. The oldest undisputed dates for ironworking on the African continent come from Egypt, while some much older sites can be found deep within Central Africa and West Africa, and date back to 2000 BCE and 1500 BCE respectively. However, the methods used to date these sites sparked controversy among archaeologists and thus the results remain inconclusive. This is due mostly in part to the overwhelming lack of archaeological work done in Africa in comparison to the rest of the world. Regardless of its origins or the controversial dates in Sub-Saharan Africa, it is very well established that the Iron Age in this region was for the most part contemporary with the rest of the Old World and that it diffused to the remainder of the continent primarily via several intracontinental epicenters through trade, migrations, and in some cases, warfare. It is also very clear that the methods used to mine, smelt, and forge iron were ancient, rich, diverse, and unique to the African continent, with virtually no evidence of outside influence. In this video, we will animate the spread of iron metallurgy throughout Africa, utilizing undisputed dates only. With the arrival of Malagasy settlers, iron finally reached Madagascar in roughly 500 CE, marking the end of the Iron Age in Africa. The whole of the continent had fully replaced stone and bronze with iron technology. At this time, even hunter-gatherers such as the Sand Peoples of Southern Africa and the Pygmy Peoples of Central Africa primarily relied on iron technology which they obtained through trade with neighboring peoples. 
Several island chains along the African coast such as the Comoros and Cape Verde Islands remained uninhabited until they were settled by European explorers, while the Canary Islands were populated by an isolated peoples whom were still utilizing stone technology during the time that the Spanish arrived in the mid-15th century. This video was created in collaboration with Stefan Milo and Ali Bai, so be sure to check out their videos. Stefan hosts a more thorough breakdown of the African Iron Age, while Ali will be presenting a mapping video on the Eurasian Iron Age. Thanks for watching, guys. And always remember, we don't come from nothing. <laughs>